definitely one of those things that you have to experience because it took me a while to get into it. But once I got into it, it's like it's like Hello. I'm married into it or something. <laughs> well, we're, we're all we're all into it. We're in Frisco, Texas. I love her. <laughs> I wish she was. Oh. Oh, you should send this to us. You should send this to his wife. This is Aaron, and this is Texan Army TV. After a disappointing loss in Dallas, the Dynamo edged out Blanco and the Fire with a 3-2 victory as Clark notched his first goal of the season. Live the game through supporters' eyes only on Texan Army TV. <laughs> Yeah. Um, no, he kind of he kind of stayed down the middle. I guess he saw my penalty kick against DC. Um, so, you know, I put it a little bit to the left and, and put enough power on it to where he wasn't able to get to it. So, um, you know, I have, I have a decent strike. So, you know, if, if you put it on frame, it you know the keeper doesn't have too much a chance. About the dance that you had was the uh, bobblehead dance up plan. <laughs> yeah, the bobblehead. Uh, Kai had talked about it with me before. He said he was going to hit my head, and I was going <laughs> to. I was gonna bobblehead, but uh, you know it's pretty cool. Uh, I saw the lines outside for it, so uh, you know I got my my stack of boxes over here oh, for, your mom. for my mom. But um, it's it's pretty cool, and uh, it was a good night, and uh, you know just happy I could have scored. No, I think I think the one thing we spoke about at halftime was we need to recognize trouble, and if you don't recognize trouble, then you're gonna find yourself in trouble. So I don't think our attitude and our uh, being aware to dangerous situations was where it should have been. Yeah, I mean, Kai's goal is just a great hit, right? Caught it solid. Got, caught them napping off of a uh, throw-in. And then Rico just makes a great run. Brian with a, with a nice pass. You know, Rico just gets there before the John Bush does. So um, two great finishes. I mean, obviously, Kai's is a little bit more of an electric finish. He just smashes it. But I think Rico's run and just his willingness that last five yards to get onto the ball was, was excellent. Yeah, he, he found me. And, uh, and the, referee, the referee thought that he bodied me. The referee was, was a bit far away, but it was definitely a foul or else I would not fell over. I mean, it's Blanco, and that's, that's all I have to say about it. Uh, the second half we came out uh, and made uh, a real good push and got two good goals to get back into the game. And then, uh, you know, to, uh, to lose the game on a, on, a, on a PK call, which, you know, you probably can question. Uh, it's just disappointing because uh, I think tonight from, from the get-go, uh, there were some real hard fouls. Uh, you know, I lost two players tonight because of bad tackles that, uh, you know, one referee uh, didn't get, didn't card, the next one he carded it. Um, and, you know, that's disappointing. And then obviously to give up that PK, uh, the way that happened. And, and I felt there was a lot of grabbing and pushing in the box and we never got any of those. La Machina Naranja are on the road to RSO. Join us at our away game location, the Mezzanine Lounge. Then on Wednesday, August 19th, Champions League starts for the Dynamo as they welcome El Salvador's Isidro Metepan. Until next time, see you at the South End.